we've done in our politics is create a situation where we're electing idiots. <laughs> and um, if the Republican Party continues down this path, um, and uh, moves towards, for example, nominating Donald Trump for the presidency. Uh, you know, I think that we have seen day after day after day the party go further and further um, uh, down this path of not being salvageable. And um, I think the single most important issue, and I mean that, the single most important issue that faces this nation, and we face a huge array of challenges and threats, and they're very complex. But the single most important issue is that Donald Trump never be anywhere near the Oval Office again. Your I, I tell this to my Democratic friends, and I have more Democratic friends now than I used to. <laughs> um, I am a conservative. What the Republican Party is doing today is not conservative. Um, I think the most conservative of any conservative principle is fidelity to the Constitution. And when you have a party that has abandoned that, um, you know, they've abandoned conservatism. So I am a conservative. Um, I think our politics are undergoing a huge, more than even generational shift because the Republican Party has so abandoned any pretense right now of, um, you know, standing for, for truth and for honor and for character. I, um, I think that the attacks that we're seeing from the Republicans on uh, Merrick Garland and on Christopher Wray, um, you know, are, um, are unfounded. And, um, and they, they ought to understand and recognize um, the danger that, that they are fomenting by suggesting um, that, that this is somehow all political, that this is very serious business. So the idea that the Biden administration has, uh, has, has weaponized its, uh, itself, the DOJ, is there merit to Mr. Trump's complaints that the DOJ has been weaponized? No. Okay. What does a second Trump presidency look like? Well, there, there cannot be one.